Hello guys, it's me Alexei. Today we'll take a closer look into information architecture. Information architecture is very important in UX design because well-structured information architecture is crucial for success of any digital product. It impacts usability, accessibility and overall user experience. Today I'm gonna create information architecture for a financial mobile app. We will create a clear logical structure of the product, so every component and every entity has a one instance. Many huge apps like Spotify, for example, they suffer a lot from this repetition inside the app. That's why I think information architecture is crucial to any app. So enough talking, let's start practicing. For this task I usually use Figma, Fig Gem, you can create it from here, but I've already created one for myself. And I simply start creating the necessary blocks. Usually I start with the main navigation, and based on that we will start further exploration. So I select a square, create the first square, and let's call it authorization this will be the section uh, devoted to sign up logging and other authentication stuff then of course I will have home section and for financial app I will create payments section where, where all the payments will be stored uh, then savings this one is for funds investments things like that and the last one is settings let's give all of them different colors home will be green, payments will be blue, savings will make orange and settings let's, let's make it light red. Now let's start thinking what can go inside every section one by one. So authorization it's usually login screen sign up screen then forgot password screen sometimes and I think it's our case there is a separate login method called login with email Sign up with email as well. Then if it's a two-factor authentication, it will be a 2FA code form. And I think biometric authentication. So for Apple users, it will be Face ID. For Android users, it will be other methods. Okay, then let's explore home section. On the home section of any financial app, we usually see our cards, our accounts, how much money we have on each of these accounts. So I think the first one will be account details. It's what happens when we tap on any of these accounts. Then card details, uh, the money left on your card, the transactions made with this card, information like that. The user will be able to create a new account, for example, if 
they have account in uh, US dollars, they can open a Euro account or British Pounds account. Then, for example, if the user uh, has lost their card, they can block the card and order a new one. So this order new card form will be here as well. Then notifications list. And I think that's it for now. If anything comes to our mind, we can always add later. Let's move on to payments screen. Uh, for the payments, I think uh, the most obvious thing is uh, new payment. If you are paying for your apartment or for electricity bill, for example, that's new payment is for. Then payment confirmation. Sometimes we can pay by scanning the QR code. This screen also belongs here. Another thing is money transfer. If you want to transfer money to your friend or relatives, then we can we can create payment template or favorite payments let's call it payment templates new template is another screen let's call it new payment template um, then searching for older payments, if you forgot where the money went, that's a very useful feature. Sometimes we have uh, chat in the payments, if you are chatting with your friend or you want to say thank you to someone who sent you money, we can have a chat. Moving to savings. What do we have here? In savings, we have savings account details because we can have multiple portfolios, for example, one for stocks, one for crypto. Open new savings account. Then my portfolio. When we are trading something, there is a screen dedicated for a certain market. So you can open Apple stock, for example, and see the information about Apple, the chart, the price and things like that. Let's call it market details. Then for every market we can have buy market screen, then sell market or short sell screen. If it's a fund, it can be made of several markets, so it's a different type of screen. Let's call it fund details. Sometimes apps have uh, recurring investments and I think it's a nice thing to have. For example, each month 5% uh, of your salary of, your, or of the funds left in your account is invested to something. So let's call it uh, recurring investment setup. And of course, we need the functionality to search markets here. That should be it for this part. Moving to settings. 
For settings, uh, we usually have notification settings, security settings, um, help section with different uh, Q&A articles. If we tap on an article, it will be article page or article screen. And then about about the app and of course user account settings I think that should be it here I showed you how you can create a basic information architecture for your future app or website or or any product the difference between this basic approach and advanced is um, if I'm using advanced approach I'm not only creating this um, higher level structure, but for every element I have uh, another set of sub-elements, for example, account details. What the account details can include? It can include um, account name, And usually I give it different color. Then what else? Amount left. Cards associated with this account. And all other entities that you can find in account details. Let's take a look at another example, uh, market details. What any market can include. Every market includes market logo, market name, current price funds associated with this market and any piece of information goes here that's how you can expand your information architecture to include everything I hope you like this short tutorial about information architecture. If you really did, please hit the like button. I'm also building a UX design course and if you can answer a few questions, you will help me a lot. I put the link to this short survey in the description below. It's very short, just two minutes, nothing fancy. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one.